So it looks like the hands are the same. Got the Velcro underneath here. But uh, inside the legs is rubbing a little bit. Pretty tall. Right now my hands are not in the thing. Ah, uh, that, that strap isn't working. Okay, so here's with me, my hands in. Take my hands out, push it forward a little bit. I think that's a bit more. I can't see how the tail looks until I get in. Aside from the typical leg rubbing against it, it's not too bad. It wasn't really made to accommodate. Legs could have been further back. Arms could have been further back. Right now I kind of feel like a hunched zombie or Frankenstein right now. Oh, you can see why the zipper's in the back because the, having it up front just wouldn't really work. It could be modified. The whole placement isn't, isn't really that great. Big poofy cartoon hands. As if I'm, work, if I'm walking normal, it's pressed against my face. I'm pretty sure the dinosaur doesn't look that good that great with me like this. <laughs> you know, it's got the floaty foot. Probably say not too bad for a for a standard raptor. I'll have to take a look at it. So with me hunched over like this, I, I think having the head horizontal is a better look. For my hands to be comfortable, it would be like just above the hips. Just, uh, okay, let me out. I, I wouldn't be able to get this undone on my own. So that was the, uh, I guess we'll call it one of the knockoff Velociraptor blue costumes. Like I said, this one is from China. Uh, if you'll notice, I was using a different microphone. I had this hooked up to get some better audio while I'm inside the costume so I don't have to shout, get some better experience. I also recently got this new microphone. So if you want to help me out, continue to get better costumes, continue to get better equipment, go visit me on Patreon. I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into my thoughts about the costume. Initially, it did come with two USB compatible battery boxes. You can put the batteries in there. Came with Two screws to hold those solid and two screwdrivers. Why you need two, I don't know, but hey, that's how I got them. Came with a storage bag. Not many of the costumes I got, well, actually, let's say this is the very first one that actually came with a storage bag to put in. So that was a nice touch. Got the costume itself. The material feels a bit different. I don't know if I like it better or worse. Coming up, you can see. Right here, there's there's a bit of uh, sloppiness in putting it together. It's the uh, same on both sides, this front part. Didn't do an initial review, but looking back at the video footage, I did like how it looked. There's just so many poor issues with this. I mean, let's do the obvious. Raptor Blue, that's the only version of a Raptor costume anywhere. I mean, come on. Surely, do, do a tiger stripe, the Lost World style. I would love to see someone do a raptor with the tiger stripe, something other than blue. I just feel like she's getting exploited way too much. In terms of actually walking around, a bit of floaty foot issue, not as bad as the official uh, Ruby's version, but uh, yeah, there's gonna be a few upgrades. Another issue, is this rear zipper, small little rear zipper, but there is absolutely no way I could get into this, get in and out of this myself, which if you've watched any of my videos with the other rear zipper ones, I really hate them. Now, some of them I can manage, but with this one, I can't come down to the hands again, like the the rubies. It got really, really tight Velcro 
things, I can kind of see why they were going for that, but my honest opinion, just don't use them unless you got tiny hands. It's, that little Velcro thing has no purpose. Plus, when, when I was walking around, in order for it to get that nice a horizontal thing, I had to come down like this, kind of like, uh, like a zombie Frankenstein type thing. I keep up, keep it up for a little bit. You'd have to bend your knees too in order to get in that position. So many things with this costume that I don't like more than I do like. Uh, jumping back to I do like the dual fan system. In order for the tail to inflate all the way, you have to have two fans. In the official Ruby's one, it kind of droops down about halfway. You could still see it on this one. When I was uh, running around, the proportions and everything for the costume are good. It just wasn't extremely well executed. See, see on the back of the tail here, the stripes are not lining up. Hmm. That things that they could have improved on. And with the proportionate legs, they were rubbing in against my thighs, which was... Uh, it gets annoying after a while, believe me. Let's see what they were trying to do. Have this further in, but this still ended up inflating a lot with and end up giving floaty foot issue. So I think that's a simple fix. I can get uh, some sort of a material and put along this side to actually have something to step on. But that was not considered. As much as I I want to give the Raptor a good review because it's something other than the T-Rex. Uh, I normally don't do half ratings, but I'd say two and a half out of five on this one. It had so much potential. The material feels good. It inflates really well. The sloppiness of putting it together and the overall functionality, it just wasn't doing it for me. So uh, I will leave a link in the description of where I did get this one. And again, I bring it up, uh, visit me on Patreon. I would love to be able to have the financial support so I can get more costumes. I do have others that I did order, they are on the way. It's just going to take a while to get there. And I would really love to be able to expand the inflatable costumes outside of the dinosaurs. Don't get me wrong, dinosaurs are always going to be my favorite, but there's a few others out there that I think people would really enjoy. Like there's, uh, there's the No Face that I found. <laughs> it's from, from the Miyazaki film, Spirited Away. There's a Leonardo Ninja Turtle one. There's so many that I would love to be able to get but I'm gonna need your help to do it. So till next time, take care.